all right then my friends so now what we're gonna do from here is actually work within the ui designing the ui designing is very important the first thing i'm gonna do is just resize this just like that just as you can see as compared to what i want to do and the next thing i am gonna do basically is just to take a good look at the image i have here so this is the image you can see there are some colors right here i have already selected the colors which of course i don't want to waste a lot of time on that so i have these these colors here and these are the colors corresponding to these colors right so there is a hot key for that just hover the color just hover the mouse onto the color you want to choose then you you hold alt x alt x on your keyboard alt x on your keyboard so that you can keep the color here let me give you one example maybe i want to keep this color right so i hold alt x and there you go i have the color here so you do that process to keep all the colors and also with the help of um the j with the help of um the picon i was able to um keep up some images inside my created a folder called images inside my project folder images and i copied or i just um you know searched for some images here and these are the images let me just mix them very big for you to see extra light so you can see these images these are the images i'm actually going to use this is going to be my icon for the project so if you want to use this as an icon for your project you know that's fine you can just search it from here and you'll get it right and that is called real time real time just search for real time and there you go this is it so take your time and then um, download all the files and let's get to work so first things first you can see um um oh come on where is it you can see there is um this side is different from this side right so let's just get started first things first i'm just going to change the name of the project to from form one to pc protector right there you go then i change the form border style to none perfect now don't forget to save your project so i'll just go to my jc color picker of course i have it here and this is my base color that is the color for this guy here so i'm just gonna click on that and copy all the codes just click copy value then i come here for the back color i'm just gonna paste it right in here hit enter and there you go all right guys so i'm just gonna add a panel one panel here and with a panel i'm actually gonna dock the panel to the left just like this perfect and with a panel also i'm just going to choose a color from the jc color picker and i'll just put a color here excellent so i'll just add one more panel again for the top there you go just pin it up there perfect and we are good to go now let's start um, our project in the center screen just like this so anytime just click on start is actually gonna start in the center for us this is you know really important perfect but you can see it is quite not movable right so how can we fix that we will come to that section as well but first of all let's look at how we can add up some you know things to this project okay so let's first of all add another panel here and that panel is actually going to be the button right it's going to be the button so i'm just going to put the button here and um i'll just add a picture box just a normal picture box just put a picture box in here and that is going to be my dashboard image right so i'm just going to make it very small just something like this that looks perfect excellent so i'm just going to choose the image uh, i have already imported all the images right here so just going to click import then just select the image from here there you go you have it so i'm just going to go in for the dashboard and that is actually going to be dashboard here there you go so i'm just going to choose zoom 
perfect I have it here you can just do it this way that looks perfect then we are good to go so I'm just gonna add up a label drag and drop the label here and within this label for color I'm just gonna choose white and I'm just gonna set the text to dashboard just like this and with a font size I'm just gonna use 12 perfect just position it somewhere here that looks perfect all right so whilst I have this I'm just gonna copy it um, you know four times then I just arrange it there so I'm just gonna click on this copy paste it right there put this here just like that and I'm just gonna copy this whole two again just copy paste it there you go we have it four times you know to make the work very easy and lazy just copy three of them copy them paste it right there then just bring them to the bottom of it excellent now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add one image right here put it up here just extend it then I'm just gonna choose my image that is my project icon so I'm just gonna search for it and that was the real time perfect so I have it here excellent I am good to go now I'll add one more paste it right up here and I'm just gonna say PC protector and um, yeah that's cool so I can just say um, I can add up a version or anything like that so I can just say um, demo version or you can just add you know maybe 30 days trial or any version you want to use and I really think I want to use the demo version right or let's use trial the keyword trial instead of demo version so just gonna say trial version that's perfect and I'm just gonna copy this and I paste it way up here just make it very small like this put it here and I'm just gonna choose uh, close that is gonna be uh, in the close I think that is the delete sign there you go perfect I'll just copy and paste it one more time there you go and let's choose the minus that is gonna be the minus or is it subtract excellent right so we have this and let's work with the dashboard so this is actually going to be the dashboard and let's see the names so we have the production privacy notification so there's going to be production there's going to be privacy there's going to be notification excellent and we can choose um um, this is going to be my lock privacy oh no the production is actually going to be a different thing I think I use um, I'll use this instead um, yes and um, this is going to be my privacy that's going to be the lock so I'm just going to say privacy just like this and the notification is actually going to be uh, the not notification sign so where is the notification actually there you go perfect so I have this and you know uh, these guys are going to be my account preferences and help right so this is going to be my account this is going to be preferences good and there's going to be help just like that all right just like this just make this capitalize sensitive and let's just change the icons to the help so this is actually going to be the help perfect and this is going to be the preferences and with the preferences i would like to use the settings icon all of these icons will be um you can get them from the pecan software that is the reason why i gave you the pecan software as well and this is going to be my account so i have uh, you know profile here somewhere here profile where is it um 
okay that is it so there you go i have a profile here that's good so whilst i have this let's just run this and see what we have here excellent we have this and um i really really love this but you know basically for the first time you just have to make sure this is selected so let's do that let's quickly do that just have to make sure this is you know selected so click on this and as you can see there is a color here so i'm just going to go to my jc color picker and i'll just hover this onto this then i say alt x on my keyboard just like that alt x and there you go i have this color okay let's just put this here alt x so that is the color you yeah, just copy that then i come here first of all let's just rename all these things so that we will be you know familiar with these things so this is going to be um uh, button one panel or dashboard btn dashboard or i'll just say um dashboard panel just like that and this is going to be privacy panel privacy panel no spaces are required just put it in one word okay so this is going to be protection panel not privacy and this is going to be privacy panel and this is going to be notification panel perfect this is going to be account panel and this is going to be preferences panel pref panel short this is going to be help panel so you basically have to um, give them a name so that you can refer them right good and um i'm just going to give you the 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 the, the basic one so um i'm just going to give you the basic the base one so this is going to be how it's going to be selected when we click on that so when we click on it this is how it's going to be so whenever we click on any of them this is how it's going to appear right so this is it perfect now let's see what we can do here i think i can just decrease this a little and just push this way down here perfect let's just move this guy here and also let's just rename them because there will be a time we're just gonna you know we can add you know customization like maybe switching it to this level or pushing it way up here it really depends on how you're gonna do right so if we want to do that then it is good for us to work within um renaming of this so this is gonna be instead of saying panel one just gonna say side panel perfect and this is going to be header panel so i'm just going to say header excellent right so whilst we have this let's just rename this to um i'm just going to call this uh, btn close and this is going to be btn minimize perfect and this is going to be um that is going to be the name the name is going to be lbl um title yeah just going to say lbl title so yeah so all these all these buttons and uh, images i don't think uh they will, they will be quite really necessarily for us to rename them because we're just gonna um, handle some events to them basically we're just gonna do that so don't worry we will do that thing when we do that i think it's quite a cool so just have to take your time and do some little remodification remodification to um your project since you want it to be amazing and if you want to you know use this to um if you want to sell this out there just have to take your time and do whatever you want to do with it and that is actually going to make it looks super All right guys all right so this is what we have achieved at the end of the day and i really want to rest here so on our next lesson we're just going to see how we can design our first home then after the home 
we do some little little bit of coding in this then everything looks superior or on our next lesson we can you know really tackle uh, the reflections and everything of this i just want to be sincerely with myself so until then have a nice day and i'm out